Hey, Lego people! Okay, we're going to do a Ridiculous City update, and it's going to kind of be a challenge. So today, right now, it is Sunday, uh, June 27th, and it is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, it's like 2.03. And this, this is what the city looks like right now. I have coming in the mail today being delivered my second cloud backdrop, so that's going to get hung today. Um, and I did, as you can see, I have already ripped things apart and I have the beach area totally different um, than what it looks like before, but it's probably going to change again in this video. So what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of show you the for real what your Lego city or what my Lego city looks like like a lot of the time and then I am going to do a whole bunch of crap and then I'm going to try to put it all back. So we're going to see, I'm going to kind of challenge myself to see what I can accomplish in, I'm going to say six hours. So by eight o'clock tonight, I want to see if I stay focused, which is a struggle, but that's okay. But if I stay focused, what can I do in six hours? So I want to give you a complete full look of what is going on right now so that at the end, you can see what it looks like after this six hours and see what is possible or what is impossible. And I have no idea what's going to happen with the day. My phone could ring. Somebody could need me. I might have to go to the store. I might get to stay home and do nothing. I don't know. It is completely, I'm winging it. So right now, what we have going on is I have this to place, which is the Ghostbusters HQ, which you can tell I'm not done with. Okay. So not finished, has to finish, has to get placed in the city. I also have a whole lot of more things to build. I got the daily bugle that has to get built and placed. So I kind of want to have an idea of where it's going to go. Um, I have Pirates of Barracuda Bay um, that has to get put in. This just got delivered today. The Monkey Kid uh, Team Secrets HQ. Um, I have over here. Um, so just like crazy backlog. In these bags here is a brand new uh, Grand Emporium. Uh, that I did get quite a while ago. That might be the next one that gets built. That is a corner building that has to get built. And I'd like to have a place ready for it or at least an idea um, when I put everything back together. So that's kind of the goal is to kind of maybe start fresh. So what I'm going to do. So, okay, bounce. Let's go backwards. Okay, rewind. Here's the messy city. Here's the modulars. I did get all my tile orders, so all my roads are tiled and sidewalks and jumpers for minifigs and everything. All of them, that's what I got. All done. Great. Woo! All right. But buildings all over the place and mess and cars just randomly everywhere. You can see there's more cars and stuff here um, in the amusement park area that have to get moved. If you come over here, I had to use the mini fridge to hold a couple mocks that have been built up. Not sure if they're gonna go in the city or if they're gonna go have their own life somewhere else in a different city. Uh, if you see my shelves over here that are always very nice, yeah, the top is a wreck. So we got cars and buggies and sets and trucks and stuff and, oh, Lego light. And pizza vans that have no lights in them anymore because that was a terrible experience. And, like, more stuff. So that's basically what is going on in the city right now. And believe it or not, this started because my tiles came and I was gonna sidewalk my roads. So instead of just taking the road plates out, tiling them and putting them back, it turned into, oh, hey, let's do all kinds of crazy things and change everything around it and, and just make a big mess. But that's okay, that's the fun of it. This is the point that I really kind of wish, though, that I had a really cool setup and I could live stream, which eventually I will be doing. Um, 
I just have to like get all my my guts together to to do it. But anyway, um, and then like be able to have you guys watch and tell me, oh hey, try this or hey, try that. That I think that would be super helpful to me because as I have said before, this is not just my city. You guys spend your time and your you know your 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 time just your day, your evening, or whatever, and you watch this content. So to me, that makes this just as much yours as mine. If you don't like it, why would you watch it? So input, I would love your input. I want to know what you want to see. I want to know what you want. And that will be definitely included or taken into consideration. So I can't wait until I get so much more of that from you guys. So leave a comment and let me know what you like or don't like or, you know, anything. What I'm thinking also, so what my plan is for today is I'm going to take a table. I'm going to put it in the other side of the basement over there. And I'm going to take as many of these as I can in there. Empty out this room as much as I possibly can. And then I'm going to actually take some tables, probably these ones right here in the middle, and maybe this one here. And I'm going to actually take the legs off of them because then I can move things around way easier and just kind of start over ish. So I'll have like the back with the shelf, and maybe I'll move the shelves and do all that. But I'm basically going to empty the room out and start over. So I'm going to pause you here. I'm going to do some of that. <laughs> Once it's empty, I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. And you can see like how big the room looks when there's nothing in it. And then hopefully I'll have some ideas pop in my head in the meantime. And then we'll talk about that. But for now, I'm going to leave you. This is what we got. Okay. And then when we come back, you're going to see an empty ish room. All right, guys, wish me luck. Hit that like button while you're waiting for me to come back, by the way. Yeah, so <laughs> I'll talk to everybody in just a few. All right, ha <laughs> ha, we are back. And as you can tell, my clouds came while we were doing it. It is now 5.30, so it has been three and a half hours. In that time, I have gotten everything out except for... What you see, well, the beach, the beach is something that I had made recently when I had started this city, so that's there. But what you'll see here is these are the sets that I had when I originally decided I'm going to make a city. So if you watch my very, very, very first video, Come Grow My Lego City With Me, you will see all these sets in it. And a couple more that aren't out here just because I did move them because they're pretty large and I want to have a plan um, first. Like Ninjago City Gardens and the Harry Potter train, a couple things like that. Those are out in the other room. Let me show you where I put everything else. All right, so not the best lighting in here, but this is the other side of the basement. We have washer and dryer, and this is where the couch was that also will be found in a few of my very, very early city videos that came in here. So here is all the other stuff that I have acquired and built uh, since the start of the city, which just looks like a big mess in here and eventually will make its way back out and hopefully a much bigger, better uh, way. We're going to still try to complete most of that within this video. So let's pop back out to the other room and we will talk about the plans. So you can see tables are moved around and stuff like that. Things are going to go back, um, you know, basically the same table layout. I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep um, a so what happened was when you started this or when I started the city, um, I was getting tables from Ikea. I had to order them online and have them delivered and delivery fees were ridiculous, but I don't have an Ikea close to me and it was the only way I could go. But basically the ideal tables were these black ones and they're basically 60 by 
30 inches, roughly, give or take like a half an inch. So it's uh, six base plates by three base plates. So you got six base plates across, three base plates wide. And what happened was I ended up with like six of them. So I have one there, one there. There's some I took the legs off. And so I got three in there. And I have one in that other room. So I have like six, six of those tables. And then Ikea said, oh, hey, we're not going to make them anymore. Ha ha. Okay. Not really funny. Bad ha ha. But so now our options really kind of suck. Like, okay, here's our option. This dinky little table. So this table is not ideal in any way if you see here we'll have if we if we have the beach here so it'll give you a little bit of an idea so we have one two three and not even full four over here i believe it's like 37 inches which leaves us like three inches short over here for a base plate and three inches is a lot of inches and even if we split it an inch and a half is still a lot to have stuff hanging off the edge. But it gets even worse. When you go the wide way, so here's this. Now remember, those big tables, you would have 30 inches, so you'd have three base plates across. Here, we have one, two, and I, I don't, like, like this much. So I understand that it's better than having an overhang, but then you have like this much of just like bare table. And that's really not much better. But the way the measurements go, even if you were to put two next to each other and have them and deal with that overhang, the math never maths right. So you're never going to have like nice, even flush. Over there on those big tables, you would have maybe like one stud or a stud and a half that would hang off the edge. Not anything near this. So now it's kind of either pay money, like extra money, more expensive. You, you're looking at these tables were like 30 bucks and then the legs were $4 each. For a table, that's really good. Now you're looking at if you want a tabletop from Ikea that's going to be the same quality, thickness really matters because Lego gets heavy. So if you want a table of the same quality and thickness and durability, you're looking at paying just $100 almost on only the tabletop. And it's still not even perfect for the dimensions but it's as close as you're gonna get. But I don't know, I'm not trying to pay a hundred and something dollars for a table and then still have to pay for me, because I don't have an Ikea, somewhere around 60 bucks for them to ship it. And it takes at least a month. Like, it's crazy. So, then the other option is you can go to Home Depot and you can get these tables here. This is gonna be melamine. And they're actually really, really heavy um like super heavy i dropped one on my foot it was really really bad i swear i broke it but you know they don't do anything for your foot when you go to the hospital so i just stayed home screamed a lot cried a lot said a lot of words and moved on um but anyway if you were gonna make this a full-size table you would want like another leg or maybe even two in the middles for just that extra support so you don't end up sagging at some point. So the IKEA really kind of did make it super difficult for us to, um, you know, for us to, to, to keep going with this. You know, it was kind of like, hey, we've been making this size table for a gajillion years and now, oh, we're just not gonna do it anymore. Well, what do you, what do you mean? So anyway, that's enough on my IKEA rant. So here we go, here's the plan. I'm gonna put the tables back, the white ones, Basically, the white ones all go smack across the back so that when I do something underneath and I end up with uh, wood underneath and, and like tabletops underneath for an underneath area. Because when you run out of room, you tend to build up and build down. So keeping these in a row and having the same leg space in between for when I do underneath stuff is going to be Perfect. So these are going to all go right over there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the modulars that I had when I first started my city. 
And I'm gonna just go with that. I'm gonna put the road plates back out. I'm gonna do it like that. And then I'm gonna just think through and kind of go a little slower and see what we can come up with. Now, I don't know how quickly that all the modulars are gonna come back out into this room. They might all be back out here in a couple hours. It might take a couple weeks, um, but we will see. So I will also be back and show you my end result for the evening and when I'm done. I have about an hour and a half left in my six hour challenge. So we will catch up right when that is over and we will see what I have actually accomplished in that full six hours. So whew, I'm gonna really need to step up the pace. Wish me luck, see you soon. All right guys, <clears throat> it is eight o'clock. My six hours is up. And here is what I have accomplished. Whoo, so not as much as I really was hoping that I would. Um, but, you know, I'm going to keep going. It is almost time for me to head to sleep. And then I got to get up and work a few hours tomorrow. And then they're cutting off the electricity to do some outside work for a few hours so I'll have a couple hours after that and then back at it I figured <clears throat> that I might come down here and do some Lego work while I was waiting for the power to come back um, but yeah then I realized that it's going to be dark so probably not so much but maybe I'll just build something fun while I wait or make a plan I could do a lot of drawings and make a plan for where stuff's gonna go but as you can see I have a train track back. It's just very small, but I do want to make it work. So I think it's going to stay there for now. And then I have some modulars up against the back wall where I'm also going to have another backdrop that I did order. Um, hopefully that'll be coming in uh, early this week rather than later, but we'll see. But um, I did line some up there and I have some lined up over here. And then I have one over here, and then I got like a mess of them up here. So what we're gonna, I'm just gonna kind of like put a few there, a few there, a few there, and I'm gonna take a look around and see which one I like best. So, all right guys, that is gonna be it for this uh, Lego City update installment. I am so sorry that I'm leaving you with such a mess, but stay tuned hit that like button hit that subscribe button come back and see what is next because the best thing about it being so blank right now is that you should really get another city update soon sooner than later because i'm gonna want to fill stuff back in so i would love some ideas leave some comments let me know do you like the left side do you like the back do you like the right side i'm gonna end up having tables all straight up through here with a uh with a, a hole up there um you where i can pop in and out like a groundhog and um so that's where my access hole is gonna be kind of same as before so the setup's not really gonna change so i'm gonna have a gigantic like surface area right in the middle um so i'm kind of wondering maybe like what should i have as like the centerpiece of the city i was thinking maybe apocalypseburg I was kind of thinking maybe the treehouse, but I'm not sure how I feel about something being so tall, being straight up in the middle, because what if then you can't see stuff? But then I was thinking, I have seen people put the bonsai tree in their city and just like alter the like the base that it's in to look like a big thing. Like, you know, if you go out, sometimes there's you know, trees with, with big giant planters around them. So I can do that too. Um, but yeah, so I'm thinking maybe a centerpiece for the city. I want to start on a residential area. I'm thinking maybe a cul-de-sac kind of, uh, kind of shape going on where that's going to be. And then I'm going to also get some shelving and some little itty bitty legs. And we're going to start running some tables underneath these existing tables here. Cause we're going to have to build down. So lots and lots and lots of plans. I'm gonna have to start writing stuff on the whiteboard or I'm gonna forget it all. All right, guys, I've talked long enough. Too many clips, too much stuff. If you're still here, God, I love you. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, everybody, for the views, for the comments, for the likes, for everything. Stay tuned. I will be back. I got a lot of work to do. And until the next time we talk, guys, it is just my bricks and me. Thanks for watching. Bye.